What's up, everybody? It's Michael again with 885 Blackjack, and I'd like to welcome you again to my channel where I talk about everything Las Vegas Blackjack tables. But today's video is how to master rental cars when you come to Las Vegas. The first tip I have for everyone is to use Enterprise when you come to rent a car in Las Vegas. I do have some of the best locations within the Harry Reid Airport rental car pickup system. There are a few steps that are involved when it comes to picking up your rental car. And so I do think that their location helps ease some of that pain and allows you to get through that process as quick as possible. Now, signing up for Enterprise is going to get you a couple things right away. First, it's going to get you the ability to accrue rewards points for every dollar you spend with Enterprise in future reservations. The other thing it's going to get you is access to the Enterprise Plus and VIP line within the Enterprise rental car station inside of the Harry Reid pickup location that's actually on Gillespie Street. You do have to take a separate shuttle that the airport has for you at the ground level of baggage claim just behind the escalator and you will get on that and they will drive you over to the rental car pickup location on Gillespie, and that is all free. Behind the escalator, you just came down, you'll walk right out there, ground level, and you should see the signs for the rental car shuttle. It is a rental car shuttle bus, and you may have to stand in line. And since you have to stand in line, having Enterprise will allow you to kind of get through some of this back-end process a little bit quicker because of their locations that I mentioned earlier. And the other thing that's nice about it is that you can transfer points between family members. That's huge because then you guys can combine the points you have and say one of you is going on a trip and the other one isn't. You use your points collectively and get free days of car rental. I love that feature. The other thing that's nice about Enterprise is something that I had figured out here is working for my friends as well and we were saving a lot of money doing this little trick. So what you do is you can go ahead and rent a car for whatever dates that you need it for. Go ahead and book that out as far as you can. From there what you want to do is check the Enterprise website every day to see if the rates are fluctuating. A lot of times that you will see that it goes down and it may go down more than once since you're an enterprise plus rewards member you can make reservations without a deposit and cancel at no penalty go ahead and rebook for the lower rate so i went ahead and put this into practice i booked a rental car in las vegas with a harry reed international airport pickup location for five and a half days my original fee when I booked this reservation was $482. After continuing to look at the Enterprise website and monitoring the price, I was able to rebook my trip now for a total of $271.08. And I was using the exact same criteria for the trip, just booking it on a different day. And I was able to save well over $200. So I'm pretty happy about that. Really happy with my service from Enterprise anyway. I was already a customer of theirs before I knew about this little trick. And I've since told other people about it and they've went ahead and put it into practice. I have a friend that's going to Wisconsin Dells. She booked a rental car and has saved over $210 as well. I have another friend going to Florida. He saved over $170. This definitely works and the rental car prices are clearly very fluid. Remember that when you're going to pick up your car, you have to take the free airport shuttle over to the rental car location and it is in a bit of a goofy spot. So that's why I brought that up because you're going to come down the escalator. Everything in front of you as far as baggage claims and exits and it's actually just right behind you on the ground level. So that can be a little confusing there in baggage claim at the airport looking for that shuttle. I promise you that location is there. I promise you it is on the ground floor of baggage claim. You will find it. So just to recap, the reason why I like Enterprise is because of their location, 
and the time it takes to pick up a rental car at the actual airport in this location gives you a little bit of advantage and it's a little bit less of a headache in my opinion. Next reason is because of the speed of check-in in which you become an Enterprise Plus member. You can actually skip the entire process, skip all the lines, you can even skip the Enterprise Plus and VIP line because you can actually check in on your phone as an Enterprise Plus member through the Enterprise portal. Next is that you can transfer your points back and forth between family members, which can allow you an opportunity to earn free rental days a lot quicker than you otherwise might. The last tip is continue to check the enterprise website even after you've already booked your trip and try to book your trip as far out in advance as you can that gives you more opportunities for that price to come down like i said you can cancel at any time at no penalty and you can also book new reservations without making a deposit and having them charge your credit card so that's a really nice feature most other companies are going to require you to pay for at least some of your reservation meaning that canceling it on the back end is also going to be that much more time consuming and that's that much more difficult as wait for that credit to process back to you anyway that's my video for today i hope everybody learned something thank you so much for watching everybody please make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel for more exclusive las vegas content good luck out there and be safe